All right, so we're gonna take a quick little look at Bastion, which is a which is a uh, a game that I purchased through the Humble Indie Bundle. Well, not just that game, of course. There's like five of them, I believe, and um, it's a cool release. You know, there's a lot of cool games, and this is one of them. And uh, I'm not really uh, uh, an RPG kind of a person. You know what I mean? Like role playing or or action RPG. What do you call it? And um, but this one's pretty cool. You know, I'm digging it. And I'm not just saying that because it's a it's native on Linux now, which is totally awesome. But I'm just saying that because uh, you know it's, I like it. You know, it's a cool game. One thing I do like a lot about it is the graphics. You know, it's it's basically hand drawn color palettes. You know, what I mean, it's just real beautiful. It's not you know um, polygonal 3D whatever. It's just real simple artwork, and it looks really nice. Um, controls: you have a choice between a keyboard and a mouse. Mouse only. Uh, a controller. I do own two different model Logitech controls and they're not detected. So hopefully uh, with an update or something that will get fixed. But anyways, let's go back. Let's go to story. Continue. So I'll just play a little bit of it so you guys get the idea. Uh, I won't go into the story because, you know, there is a story to it, of course. Um, so pretty much, uh, this is like your, your what do you call it, to, to arm yourself, I guess. Like this is your left click and this is your right click. Uh, let's put the machete. And the bow should be fine. Or a hammer. Let's go with the hammer. Big old thing. Confirm. Uh, space bar, select dodge. Or roll. Um, e to activate stuff. There's your map to, you know, fly to different locations. Let's go here. Fly. I will put the uh, system requirements um, in the description down below just to make sure you guys are running the, the proper hardware or at least the uh, proper driver. Let's go this way. Of all the plans to survive the calamity, had to be weeds. There's my machete. And there's some guy that oh there he is. Some guy that keeps narrating. I don't know if you heard of, heard that or not, but um, I don't know if you can turn it off. But um, it's all right. He just basically gives you like a play by play. He does give you hints though. Well, there's a cage that he's talking about. No breaking a cage like that. But the kids are anyway. Pick up this. You gotta find a way to spring it open. E to pick up. There we go. The stuff lying around is downright dangerous. It's uh, E to switch. It throws a switch. Now what could possibly go wrong? Let's see what my hammer does. <coughs> oh, Quite a bit, geez. as it turns out. The All right. Starts lifting the core ever so slow. All kid can do is wait. What the heck? <laughs> start falling in. There's some enemies. Try the hammer. Oh, damn, that was quick. So, of course, you know, the machete is real fast, you know, but the hammer is really slow, but it causes more damage. Some other little enemies. There we go. So, I'm building up more points, you know, just like any other RPG, the more points you make or experience points you can, I guess, uh, you know, pay for upgrades or whatever. Ah, damn. Getting beat up. Scumbags don't take <laughs> Ah. Anyways, I'm going to stop here. Because I'll just be playing all day then. <laughs> Confirm. I think you guys kind of get the idea of it. Um, just a little point and click. Um, you know, well not point and click, but you know what I mean. Control, you know, click, slash, smash, you know, upgrade, you know, kind of a game. It's really cool. I like it a lot. So, anyways, thanks for, for watching, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. The dead welcome him with open arms. The calamity took everybody after all. It sees a plain, frozen faces all around.
You don't much care to see him. Not like this. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. Someone who ain't like Mr. Beckett and his kindly wife. It was someone like him. The kid sees him there agape, in the flesh. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. He's got so many questions, after all. Thunder Brothers didn't make it. They never saw what it was like beyond the walls. Nor did the Bird Boy didn't make it. The Jawsons, they didn't make it. Grady Senior. Brady Jr. They didn't make it, but him, he survived. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now. Would we? The core survives as well. Kid does what he has to do. And then? What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this.